Hi, this is a speaking test. Hello and welcome to our practice exam. My name is Katie and I'm your practice examiner. The questions of this test are designed to stimulate the out speaking test. Let's start. What's your first name, please? Uh, Aziz is my first name. Thanks, Aziz. At the beginning of the IELTS test, you will be required to provide some ID. But as this is a practice test, we don't need to do that today. I want to begin by talking about you. Do you live in an urban or rural area? Um, right now, uh, I live in an urban area, but uh, back then, I stayed in the rural area and uh, it's really a different environment uh, compared to the um, cities. So um, in the rural area, you, you, the life there is so simple kind of life compared to um, the urban area. Urban area is uh, mostly usually a buzzing uh, type of area. That there are a lot of um, uh, sightseeing type of places, uh, tall building and all of that. Uh, unlike the uh, rural area, the villages where you don't really see something like that. However, the rural area, uh, they are really uh, cool and calm and very um, uh, serene area. Okay, thank you. Do you see yourself living in a city or uh, in a rural town in the future? Yeah, um, for me, uh, I see myself uh, uh, living in a, a more bigger city, <laughs> a better city compared to the one I'm even staying now. Uh, not rural area at the time in the future because um, I love the life in the city. Uh, I get to meet a um, lot of people and um, I, I see a lot of stuff that actually motivates me to do more. Uh, unlike in, in the villages or in the rural okay. area, uh, there, are, there are little to, to achieve there, uh, in my own opinion. Okay, thank you. Good. Why do people live in rural areas? Um, yes, um, I, I say uh, why they live there is that, um, you know, people are different. Um, some might, might love the life in the city, um, someone like me. Uh, why others uh, we choose the uh, the villages uh, because uh, probably because um uh, the kind of uh, life that they live there uh, especially uh, the, the, those places are usually calm um, it's a very um, calm environment uh, of course uh, it's, it's it's more um, natural if I want to say uh, people get to uh, live with their family they don't think much of whatever they are seeing you know it, it's more like a quiet life and uh, don't forget uh, villages are usually quiet and uh, won't tend to stay at one with nature there okay thank you and what jobs are available in rural town um undoubtedly we one we one we know that uh, in the rural area in this part of the world is farming uh, that is usually common uh, because uh, people there don't really uh, do any other job uh, other than farming. However, uh, you can see in some villages, you see um, uh, some companies. However, the, the company might just be a small company uh, where people can do their, uh, get jobs there. Uh, also, uh, teaching and every other civil service work can also be there, like uh, it's a work and all of that. Teachers are also found uh, majorly in the uh, teaching work, rather, um, or rather teaching jobs are uh, usually found in the rural area. You, you can't really find uh, a big industry uh, where uh, production can be uh, okay. rolled out. Thank you. Now let's move on to the topic of the seaside. Do you often go to the seaside? Oh no, I don't because uh, I have a fear. I, I have a, uh, a phobia for water, especially the big seas and rivers. So uh, the kind of person I am, I I I have this kind of fear.
remember to, with my brother. Uh, I I remember vividly that um, I, I feel I felt then that the 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 sea was actually calling me to jump into it. So that kind of feeling, you know. And unfortunately, I don't know how to swim, so mm -hmm. I don't want to risk my life. So I don't really do anything with water. So I don't swim. I don't go to sea. Okay, oh, very good. Why do people like spending time by the beach? Yes, um, I think they just want to relax. Uh, they want to forget their worries. Um, you know, uh, some people uh, might have gone to work, uh, spend a lot of hours uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, things in the office. So uh, they just want to go to a relaxing area. And of course, uh, beach area is usually very calm. Uh, the environment is serene. Uh, you get to feel the cool breeze and all of that. So you can meditate. Uh, some can also go there for all that kind of activities. But majorly, I think they just go there to go and relax or they just want to chill out with their uh, friends and all of that. Okay, thank you. What do people do at the beach? Uh, basically, I think they do a lot of activities there, uh, ranging from playing football, volleyball, uh, uh, making um, a castle of sound and all of that. Um, some can just go there to just, you know, in some beach, in some beaches, uh, you, you see that um, uh, they organize party. So some people just go to beach party to just go and dance and all of that. They just want to ease their stress. Uh, but majorly uh, the activity they do there, I think is um, um, playing uh, football, volleyball, beach balls and all of that. Okay, thank you. Now I want to talk about dentists. Do you mind visiting the dentist? Oh, definitely me know. I don't. I guess uh, I'm medically inclined. So uh, going to the dentist uh, hasn't been anything uh, frightening to me. Uh, the sight of needle, blood, uh, I'm used to that. Uh, however, some people can be frightened. Uh, with the sight of those things, uh, needles and all of that, and couple with the fact that uh, uh, some people can imagine uh, someone uh, tampering with their teeth, like uh, who knows, maybe they have a, a toothache before. So, uh, you know, a fear of unknown too can actually make some people are not to want to go. But for me, uh, I don't think I have uh, any fear of going to a dentist. Okay, very good. Why are some people nervous about the dentist? Yeah, like I said, um, a lot of people are really nervous because of uh, fear of unknown, uh, the sight of the long needles, uh, hammers and all of that, uh, that can really be scary when you go to a dentist office. And, and of course, uh, the sight of um, a blood. Uh, uh, people have this fear that, um, uh, touching or removing part of their body uh, is so traumatizing. Like they feel the pain. It's more like a, uh, a phantom pain that people feel on their legs that are being removed. You know, it just it's an imaginary type of pain. So they don't they don't want to experience that. So they, instead of experiencing it, they just want to prevent it altogether. So they okay. don't bother going. They just want to avoid it totally. Mm -hmm, very good. Is visiting the dentist expensive in your country? Uh, definitely, yes, uh, because um, health generally, uh, globally, is expensive. Uh, my country is not, a, it's not an exception. Um, paying for uh, health bills yeah, is really exorbitant. And dentist, too, uh, is on the higher side. So um, and of course, the government uh, aren't doing anything uh, good for that to subsidize health uh, services. So uh, it costs a fortune for someone to go to a dentist to go and have their uh, teeth fixed or and all of that that they do there. So I think uh, it's very expensive. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Great. And now I'm gonna give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about one to two minutes before you talk. You have one minute to prepare. I'll give you your card. This is your cue card. You have one minute okay. to prepare in this and one to two okay. minutes to speak. You have one minute to prepare, start now. 
Okay. You may now start speaking. Yes, uh, I would like to share with you um, uh, one of the difficult choices I've made in my life. Um, the one that comes to mind uh, was when I want to uh, further my education. Mm -hmm. uh, after my secondary education, I had in mind that I want to study a particular course. So, I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm more like in a dilemma. So I don't know what to do. I, I had two choices in my mind. I want to study nursing. I want to study medicine. But all in my mind, uh, one part of me had actually agreed to medicine. So, and the other part was still contemplating whether nursing or none of that. So I was at the middle of, uh, uh, in the middle of, the devil and the deep blue sea, so I don't know what to do. So I went to one of my brother, he was studying medicine. So uh, that has actually been my mentor all this uh, all that time. So I went to him for an advice to uh, help me to make a choice because I really can't decide. So uh, he now told me that uh, after the admission, uh, I can now uh, take a decision. I think I have two things in mind. So let's wait till the other. However, he also advised me not to be jittery and just uh, take it uh, as it comes. So I, I, I just wait. I waited and when the admission came, unfortunately, I got nothing. So I was actually expecting medicine. So the problem there now is to either uh, continue uh, with the course or uh, go and write an entrance exam. So that was where my dilemma actually came. Not really the uh, the course now. So because I was having uh, the mind of studying medicine, so I got nothing. So the dilemma was, okay. I continue with Thank nursing? you very much. Okay. Yes. Although you have exceeded for around 20 seconds. Yeah. Well, if you're already done, I suggest that you have to say, yeah, you're, you're finished, right? Because you're already okay. done what you're going to say. You don't have to say, oh, should I continue? No, you just you should know how to signalize that you're already done. Yeah, this is what's happening. Yeah. yeah, signalize that you're already done. You have already told what is necessary based on the cards, the cue cards. You have already, uh, you already know that how, I mean, you should have the skill to to stop yourself and to signalize that you're already done. And the proctor, we're going to ask okay. you. Now let's talk okay. about making decision. What type of difficult decisions do governments have to make? Yeah, uh, talking about decision making um, as part of the government, I think is a big thing uh, because um, they have a lot on their table uh, to cater for, uh, ranging from different sections of, uh, of the government. Uh, uh, for example, uh, if a government uh, want to take a decision where to uh, fund or divert their resources, to, they have to weigh their option, uh, whether that sector is the best for now or not. So for example, let's say uh, they are considering health sector and agricultural sector. And of course, both sectors we actually uh, improve their GDP at the end of the year. So uh, they just have to weigh their options, which is better. So um, sometimes it's actually a difficult uh, decision to make. 
Um, so they have to do a lot of research uh, before they take their decision. I think um, it's a lot to uh, do before they take a decision. And not just that, you know, there are a lot of sectors. I'm just taking that too as an example. So uh, it's a lot of decision to, to make uh, if they want to do that. Okay, thank you. Very good. Should young people be given more decision powers? Okay, yes. Um, in my own opinion, I will say yes to that because um, uh, since they say um, the youth of now uh, become the leaders of tomorrow. So I think it, it's actually good to actually introduce the youth to decision making earlier in life so that they can function well in the future. Okay, so, great. Um, Very good. Why are elections important? Um, election, um, every, every part of the world now actually encourage uh, a de democratic kind of government. So uh, which actually encourages people uh, to exercise their franchise. So you have to uh, contribute your quota during the election time. So that means you are choosing the right leader for your country. So uh, if you don't participate, then uh, you might as well lose your chances of uh, contributing your own part to uh, selecting the leader that is gonna rule for a number of years. So I think it's, uh, it's a loud idea to actually encourage people to participate in an election, uh, election process. So for okay. me, it's actually mm -hmm. a great idea. Great, great. Thank you very much. That's the end of our speaking test. Thank you.